The Hudson Museum has collections from the Arctic, Plains, Southwest, and Northwest Coast, in addition to Maine Indian collections. It is one of the only museums in Maine where you can compare and contrast Native American cultures from North America. These collections date from the 1850s to the present, and for communities today, these pieces provide inspiration for contemporary works and connect them to their ancestors. The peoples of the Northwest Coast live in an environment with a mild climate that features abundant natural resources. River systems with migratory fish species, five species of salmon, the Pacific Ocean with access to shellfish and crustaceans, a wide variety of fish and whale species, and forests that provide habitat and hunting and gathering grounds for animals and plants. Geographically, the region includes the present-day states of Washington, Oregon, California, and Alaska, as well as the province of British Columbia. The peoples of this region were hunters and gatherers, but unlike most hunter-gatherer groups, they were able to stay in one place for extended periods of time without practicing agriculture. They built large-scale cedar plank longhouses where extended families and others Often 50 or more people lived and created a stratified social structure with chiefs, artisans, common people, and even slaves, individuals who lost status for violating community values or were captured in war. The objects here identify the status of the individual and were worn for special occasions, such as house and totem pole raisings, births, deaths, and marriages. They also identify the clan and lineage of the wearer. In our culture, we identify individuals who are genetically related by last names. In Northwest Coast culture, individuals belong to a clan, such as raven, eagle, wolf, and killer whale. An individual inherited their clan from their mother, and clan crests were displayed on personal possessions. The most important items of regalia was the hat. These could be basketry hats made from spruce root or carved wooden helmets. Both types of hats displayed clan crests. Other regalia included Chilcat tunics and blankets woven from mountain goat wool, dog fur, and yellow cedar bark. These items were often worn at potlatches and dances. Rattles were also used during potlatches and ceremonies. The raven rattle tells how raven brought light to the people and rattles were carried by high-ranking individuals at ceremonies and dances. The cultures of the Northwest Coast build and continue to build large ocean-going canoes. Here's a model of a Haida canoe. Full-sized canoes upwards of 50 feet long are made from a single giant red cedar log. The log was hollowed out and the prow and stern as well as the keel were carved. Canoes were traditionally rowed with paddles, but after contact many had sails. These canoes went out on the open ocean miles offshore to fish for halibut, which could weigh hundreds of pounds and even whales. The capture of a whale was an event to be memorialized through song and dance. Mass were essential to the winter cycle of ceremonials in which community history, legends, and values were passed from one generation to the next. Here we have three masks from the northwest coast. This is Sanakwa, the wild woman of the forest who eats little children who wander off into the woods. Does this remind you of any tales from your childhood? This mask represents a cultural universal in which children are discouraged in various ways from wandering off alone. This mask is used to tell the story of how ravens stole the sun from the sky people and brought light to the people. It is part of the creation legend in which people emerged from a giant clamshell to a world in darkness. This mask represents the blue hawk, a being with supernatural powers who can help the people in times of need. There are many Northwest Coast legends that involve another bird with supernatural powers, Thunderbird. When whale came up the river eating salmon and depriving the people of food, Thunderbird grabbed whale in his talons and flew whale to the top of a mountain. When whale agreed to stay in the ocean, Thunderbird took him off the mountain top and returned him to the sea. Central to Northwest Coast ceremonies was the potlatch. Potlatches validated events within the community, births, deaths, marriages, and other important events 
were often held to demonstrate a leader's wealth and power. Potlatches featured feasting and the distribution of valuable gifts or even the destruction of goods. Items associated with the potlatch include bowls, often carved in the shape of animals and marine mammals, such as these examples here, ladles carved from wood or made from mountain goat horns. Bowls varied widely in size from ones that would hold a person to tiny ones that would fit in your hand. Some were used for eulicon oil, which is a special delicacy, while others are used to present fish, shellfish, or meat stews. Today, the people of the Northwest Coast carry on traditions that are thousands of years old and continue to create objects that are used for ceremonies, dances, and potlatches, as well as jewelry, prints, and carvings.